Danny wins here. He's awful. Uh, Brian Capola is here. He's the best owner in the world. This is actually three rounds, by the way, Eric, because it's five to eight players is, is three rounds. Yeah, but I got the first round by. Oh, uh, okay. So, <laughs> so that's three. Oh, that's true. Okay. So, so I got to win two more. Yeah. I have to win like one more. Yeah, I think there might be a playoff. I don't know if it's if it's ties in points. Maybe you have to play off. There's no. Way. I don't think there'll be a tie playoffs. But you'll have lower tiebreakers, no? Because you got a buy. That doesn't matter. No. As long okay. as we go two. As long as you go two, you're fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so getting a buy, how fortunate is that? How fortunate. is when you're the best duelist in the room, <laughs> the best uh, they duelist. Don't, you don't have to work as hard, you know? Is that what they call them nowadays, duelists? Sometimes. Who knows? So let's see if the, uh, the, What's the, the other underdog leader team can we make don't it. See? It's oh. U7 Frieza. Can you move their leader? We can't see the leader on there. I only know that. It might be, Chris yeah, it's, been it has to be it. U7 leader, yeah. Yeah. It's U7 Frieza. Uh, he's, they're both playing Victory Strike. Why is everyone playing this deck now? I just don't understand why. Oh, because it's David. like David's fault. <laughs> Jesus. Like, doesn't it, it just lose the Broly? Like, I played it the other day. Also, I lost the Lord Slug. Yeah. I was like, God damn. You just lose the bad. It has, like, the freest matchups on, like, some points. Like, it beats the. It really beats Janemba, as weird as that sounds. Really? Janemba can't get through the seven drop freezer that easily. Oh yeah, that's right, the seven drop freezer, yeah. So if you don't have a demon sword, you're just like, oh I lose here. This, that's incredible. I can't activate unbreakable or anything. Yeah, that that uh, that freeze is definitely a problem. DBS card game is the Smash Bros of card games. <laughs> no you would way. only say that if you weren't me or Banthony Bandandez. So. Bandandez. <laughs> Everyone else is. Farce. That's inferior. a pretty good one. I think he's gonna be here tomorrow, actually. Yeah. Life, I can't see the life of the freezer player. I can see one. <laughs> Maybe he's I can at see one. one. Yeah. There's no way he's at one. He's just been like taking Broly hits nonstop. <laughs> Fledging talent, Pam. That's that's a that's a. I have not seen that in any type of Broly. List. I don't know what's what? happening. This might be uh, the, the, it, it, It's probably a Broly tech. uh path list that hasn't been updated in like two months. <laughs> <laughs> and then because they needed a partner in the 3v3, they just, like, passed it to him. Or, like, maybe, or maybe they just still had Bardock on the deck. And then they're like, we gotta, we gotta replace yeah, this with one drop. Off. We, gotta, we gotta get another one drop. I thought about playing SS3 for this event. Like, SS3 Storm, show up with SS3 leader, turn one, summon a Bardock. What? Just see what SS3? happens. SS3? Oh, the ban one? Yeah. <laughs> okay. See I wish happens. we could actually play that again. I really miss that leader. I think it's so fair is now. It still, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I, I, I don't know. I don't know if that's just me being angry. Well, all right, here's the thing. Definitely so not. we just got a ban list, and like, so it's different now. But like, if you're telling me one leader can take another turn by actively playing the game, and this leader has to be at four life to do anything, I think the other leader is better. Yeah, yeah. Not, like, <laughs> and people, I wouldn't even play SS3 in this format. I probably wouldn't either. But it would definitely, I would definitely try it just because I love SS3. Yeah. Me too. But, like, you can't be... You, you could probably contend with Victory Strike a little bit because you would get the Chain Zeno super fast. You don't beat Janemba ever unless they just summon, like, four hits on you. I don't even know what else is in the format. It's only a two-deck format, yeah, you right? Yeah, you can't beat Janemba. Yeah, you don't have a chance. <laughs> and then... It seems so bad. Super 17 probably beats it, even though that deck's terrible. <laughs> probably beats it. Who knows? Cell come back. I feel like Cell coming back also wouldn't be too big of a deal. I don't know. It, no, it would now because we just banned Super Shenron. If it came out, if it was allowed when Super Shenron was a deck, mm -hmm. it would have been fine. Like, at least something kept it in check. But now nothing. Like Now, mm -hmm. now it checks nothing. <clears throat> hmm. I don't know. Because I, I honestly, coming from playing Androids uh, a, a lot, I feel like the deck is just inherently like, you can't do much with it. Like, you're stuck with like this stock deck. And you can never like customize it because like you're you're you have to you need all these stock pieces. So I feel like it already cripples itself. Well, it's like but a. But it, it does have a very like, big positive version of it. Um, man. Four four four. Yeah. So just cells is twelve. <laughs> and then let's say you play four seventeen and four. No, that's savagery. No, you don't want to play four. But yeah, I, I, no, I but like you would play like least, the blocker one, right? Yeah, you so would play at least six copies you, of each. I think. Yeah. That's another twelve. That's twenty four. Like, I don't know. So now. Now you're getting destroyed. <laughs> then we had super combos. It's 28. You have 12 cards to play with. Yeah, have fun. 
I had fun with that. The new 17 minus 13 hand destruction is pretty okay. I would hope to think so. I really hope that that deck actually does something, at least on the tier 2 level, after getting such insane cards. It would suck to be like, oh yeah, this deck is still unplayable after they got like such crazy insane cards. Yeah, I kind of like uh, I like the World Martial Arts stuff coming out a lot. Man, they, they super like... Yeah, they buffed it so yeah, yeah, hard. Yeah. They were like, you guys will buy Martial Arts. World it, Martial Arts. The way it works right now is like the Dende combo. You summon the Dende, and you can use his uh, Activate to summon a three or less. But since he leaves the field, Videl's now a two. So you summon the Videl. Uh, then you summon Grandpa Pan. Then turn two, you Goku Oob. Turn three, you Goku Vegeta. And that that's ten attacks on four not including the attacks that you got beforehand. So, the World Martial Arts stuff is pretty good. Machado left me to go talk to Noodle Hair Felipe. It looks like Joe summoned a Height of Mastery and hasn't awoken yet. So this seems to be the victory strike play. Oh, never mind. Joe hates winning. That's weird. I've never seen that before. How many players? Cam, you don't want to know. Any news on Uh Not that I know of. I doubt Machado knows anything either for set seven. Oh my god, it's issue guess. They haven't spoiled anything yet. Yeah, like, if they haven't spoiled it, that means they probably didn't spoil it for Machado. Uh, and then, even if they did spoil it for Machado, he probably wouldn't be allowed to say anything yet. So, I doubt there's anything that we have to tell you guys. I'm not, I guess Joe doesn't have the victory strike. I can't see his hand, but Christian's about to take the three. One, two, three. I think Christian's at two. I can't really tell because of the life, but I'm pretty sure Christian's at two. Um, Joe gets another swing with this height of mastery. They got good one on commentary. Phenomenal. Thank you, Daniel Sen, 1998. <laughs> Phenomenal. Uh, how many players? I'm not. I'm not answering that question, Zach. <laughs> Just know 15. that when I win, I was the winner. I was That's the winner. <laughs> we got a massive 15 players, hey, guys. Hey, hey. It's that not is... the amount. It's the quality. That's, no, that's what I'm saying. The quality is insane because you have very like. If you lose to anybody in this tournament, granted, maybe like the one impromptu team. Like yeah. if you lose to them, haha. Uh, but uh, you have teams that are legitimate, like Yo, have worked wait, together before, on. and they I know really what's up. Wait, but he's about to Shugesh win. Shugesh Kid Goku. Shugesh Kid Goku. One, one time. time. One time U7 Frieza. Please he's play Shugesh Kid if, Goku. If, if I'm the U7 player, I'm like, count me, count me the combo one more time. I just want to know like, yeah, if I can out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He would be so sick. Or um, God Strike. Wait, this. Oh, he could God Strike it. That's true. Oh, yeah. That's right. Dude, Look at that him. happened to me that last weekend, actually. I got God striked on a, on a lethal. Oh, oh no. He's like, wait, hold on. Oh, that's oh, not, no. that's not Shigesh. Maybe he, maybe he gets it off the top. Ooh. Oh, that's a bean arena. He's not really revealing his hand, so I don't know what he has. I don't know. See, I was also confused because Joe had a victory oh, strike. Oh, he has secret. Yeah, he has secret, right? But that's not good enough, I don't think. Not Christian, not like this. Why didn't Shigesh path for extra draw? Joe has never played this deck before. Uh, Joe is a very like casual player who happened to be here to play uh, like fighting games and stuff. And then he needed a uh, another team needed a third partner, so they gave Joe this deck. Uh, he's not really accustomed to playing it, so I don't think that that play crossed his mind. I still don't know how big this combo is, but it doesn't look good. Also, the... I don't think it's uncombo... I mean, I, I think it's uncomboable. Well, also, the Broly hasn't awoken oh, yet. Oh, wait, what the... <laughs> yeah. You oh still get a God. whole other uh, Broly? This is play. great. I love it. Like, you get to awaken, untap two energy, restand this height, maybe play Victory Strike. Possibly. Like, he's maybe just like, oh, you know what? I'll have him combo his whole hand, and then <laughs> Victory Strike him. That was my, uh, going back to that conversation about, like, the quality of players, that was my argument for so long when people told me ARGs didn't count, like, for other card games. Like, dude, if you're round two, if, like, if your tournament is, like, 
at the time it would have been like uh-huh. Hoban, uh, the band guy who played Spellbooks. <laughs> the <laughs> band guy, Jerry Wang, I think. No, n- no, not Wang. Uh, it was the white guy. Oh God! He's still trying to combo. Is he legitimately gonna be able Dude, to out combo this? It. Oh yeah, combo it! There's no way! Oh my God! There's no way! Oh no, they're recounting. They're recounting. They're recounting. Right. Touche. Recount that, please. Oh my oh, God! Yeah, combo it! Oh wow! Now Joe's going to awaken and re-stand this fucking height. <laughs> oh my God! Please don't. Please don't. He's reading it. He's got to be like, uh, that's what I love about this tournament. I mean, like, granted, this is uh, this is an event that a lot of people don't go to just to play Dragon Ball Super. This is kind of like, you go there, you're like, oh, man, they have a Dragon Ball Super tournament. And then you just enter with a, no with, a, with, a, with, a, with a deck that was just given to you. And that's what's happening right here. A deck was given to him and extending the handshake. No! Next, no! Impromptu team player that just took it. He didn't know what was happening, and he won anyway. He's literally pointing at the card like, yeah, I just read it. This is crazy. <laughs> this card's insane. He's like, have you read this card before? <laughs> That's yours? Yeah. Holy what if Joe just, what if Joe just left? What if Joe just took the victory strike deck and left? That's what I'm saying. John is crazy. Yeah, John's wild. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. Impromptu player takes it with the powerful <laughs> height of mastery. I'm literally crying. That's so insane. 